what's up guys we are back with another auto auction update man we're here at the one of the uh, most expensive auctions in town they always got some great cars guys so if you already know what's going on please like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please do so let's get right into it guys you already know what's up first up on the list guys we got a freaking 1984 honda gold wing the mileage is unknown not really a, a motorcycle type of guy and especially this old bike but hey if you like it i love it this thing is like super old though this looked like what uh mel gibson was on in the first lethal weapon on me anyways let's get to the cars man i know that's what y'all here to see so let's get right to it we got a 1978 gmc vaquero here 39,000 miles on the dash here uh if we take a look under the hood Wow, that motor is like really back there. So I'm guessing if you uh, ever had to take this motor out, you would have to do it from, I don't even know how you would take this motor out, honestly. I really don't know how you would get this thing out, but it would be right under this right here. But if we take a look in the inside, guys, I mean, it looks pretty fair. You got leather seats and stuff. And then if you look at the back, it actually looks intact and it smells really good in here it's nothing that really stands out uh you got a kitchen you got like a little sofa bed back there kind of which is cool but if you're not in the, to the motor homes I'm gonna keep this quick for you I'm gonna keep this quick for you dog let's take a look in the inside Ugh. so yeah let's check it out wow this is the second motorhome we've been into. Oh, uh, there's your bed space there. You got your bed space. Got your table. Little glass, little kitchen, little gas stove, little microwave. Okay. See, with this, you wouldn't even have to pay rent no more. That's a plus. That's cool. Uh, what you guys think about it, man? I don't know too much about the motorhomes. But they do seem pretty fair, man. What you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, we got a 2010 Audi A4 here, 141,000 miles. This one doesn't start. This is like the third time it's at this auction. This one actually has a bad timing chain. Um, if you know how to fix this, this will be great because this thing sold last week for like, what, 1200 bucks, and they still didn't come pick it up. So we can just check this out really quick. You're missing some centers on the wheel there. Nothing too crazy if we take a look at the inside of the car does look really good you got that nice leather black interior no rips or anything in the seats the back seat actually looks pretty great as well and then this interface looks pretty cool up here too so i mean if you, if you know how to fix these things this will be a good car to buy and it is the newer uh, body style a4 so that's always a plus got a little damage there nothing crazy at all guy um what you guys think about the audi man the bad timing chain is it an easy fix or not let me know in the comments below we got a 2004 honda accord here 164,000 miles on the dash body looks amazing nothing that really stands out to me however you got a little whammage here on the bumper a little hanging there you can actually push that in and fix that pretty fairly pretty easily you got a rocker panel that's hanging you can actually button that up really easily too but we'll swing back around this side. Got a little, little tequila kick there, nothing crazy. If we swing open this door, you got this nice cloth-like gray interior, which is fine. Um, back seats look pretty cool. However, you got the ceiling hanging a little bit. I don't know, you can probably just button that up with some tacks or something, ghetto style, yeah, I know. But the interface and the steering wheel, dash, everything looks cool up here. Got a radio. I mean, it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean for what it is. Seems pretty legit. No, uh, no body damage. However, you do got a bunch of little like tiny scratches in the paint. It is like a 04. You're gonna need some new tires on this thing and then you should be good. But the AC does blow cold. So that's a plus two. Now, if we pop open this hood here and just check it out, nice VTEC engine, 
the Sulev. Seems pretty legit under there. Got a little bit of antifreeze leaking out, so I don't know, maybe it was low when they brought it in and they're just, you know, preparing for the auction tonight. So that's what that probably is. So if you guys like the Honda Man, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Next up, guys, we got a 2002 Hyundai Elantra here, 145,000 miles on the clock. This is one of the better looking Elantras. We got silver in color. We usually be seeing white and black. You're gonna need a uh, hubcap for that. You guys know we found that at the auction pretty easy. The top of the car, the paint is faded, but that's still not a big deal, honestly. The side and everything, you got a little bit of rust there. Nothing too crazy. You got another different color uh, door handle here. I don't even think this door opens, so that's gonna be the first no-no there. But if we open this back and take a look at this interior, we got this cloth gray interior, which is cool. Definitely could be clean. It was like a cat or a dog up in here. So it's a lot of fur and everything in here on the ground and carpets and stuff, which shouldn't be pretty hard to clean. Got a little whammage, little tequila kick in the back. Oh, huge tequila kick on this side. Dude was loaded off the tequila and went in. But anyways, still moving along. You got a few dents along the door here. So I'm sure this car is going to go for cheap, maybe like 400 bucks if that. Um, but like I said, we are at the most expensive auction in town. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing went for like 600, 700 bucks today. So we'll stay tuned and check it out and see what it goes for. In the meantime, you can let me know what you think about it. Next up, we got a 2000 Buick Century here. This one reminds me of like the Regal. You guys know I prefer the Regal over the Century, but the Century is pretty much the same car, give or take. Uh, the mileage on this one is unknown, but the body is in pretty decent shape. Got a little wham there, nothing crazy at all. We can take a look at the inside here. Whoa, we got this gray leather interior, boy, but dang, they tried to match the duct tape up with the leather. They forgot that half of the seat, man, that thing is whooped. The back seats look cool, but the actually the passenger seat looks cool as well. Nice little dash, everything in here is pretty neat. However, this seat right here is just whooped, boy, so. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of this Century. I mean, it is all intact. It may be a decent running car, but you don't know the mileage. So who really knows what's wrong with the car or, you know, judging by the mileage. I usually judge by the mileage. But I mean, all in all, it does look pretty fair. It does look pretty fair. Next up, guys, we got a 93 Ford Taurus here. 34,000 miles on the dash, guys. Now, uh, 34,000 seems like tiny, tiny miles for this uh, this year car. And it is, it's a 93, it's super low, but that just tells me this thing has been sitting forever. And most of the time, cars that sit in forever like that, a lot of stuff is going bad, like the hoses and everything. So you might have to change a lot of stuff. However, it does look like it has some brand new tires on it. So it might've been uh, driven pretty recently. You're definitely gonna need some hubcaps on this joint. However, this thing is like older than me. So me personally, I would pass, but I mean, the interior looks pretty fair. Looks really clean in here. Got a little couple rips in the roof and stuff. Nothing crazy though. Back seat looks fair. And if you look up here, you got a nice little dash. Radio's in original radio, which is a plus two. Who knows, you can freaking, if you're learning how to paint, you might be able to paint this thing up really nice and get rid of it for like what, 600 bucks or so. I would say at most, I mean, it is low mileage, but then again, this car is like super old. So it's gonna take a lot of promotion to get this thing. So what you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. We got a 2008 Dodge Caravan here, man. 128,000 miles on the dash, man. We got a low compression here. Um, I'm thinking uh, this car doesn't start just because the uh, Audi also has low compression and it didn't start as well. So I'm pretty sure this is like the same thing, but we'll just take a quick look around as the body looks fairly great. I don't see anything on the body that stands out. If we take a look in the inside, we got this nice, I guess you can say nice gray cloth like interior. If we take a look at the back, we don't have a third row, but we do have a second row, which is cool. The seats on the second row look pretty fair. Uh, you got a little table right there. If you look on the front, it does seem pretty cool. You got a nice little media interface there all type of controls and stuff which is cool nothing up here looks out of place nothing really looks out of place however oh it does have the third row 
but just one side of the third row. So, I mean, you got a little potential there. These seats aren't mounted in at all. So I don't even know if those are the right seats. I'm sure they are, but bolting them up, it might be a little harder than it looks. Um, I'm pretty sure they never even really took care of the car, guy, because it's like this thing is low in mileage. I've seen so many of these at like high mileage. It's like, you know, how did you not take care of this car? The, the mileage is like super low, so it should be it should be good. But low compression usually means it's not going to start. And we don't want to waste our time on it. We don't want to buy something that we got to fix right away. So it is what it is. Next up, guys, we got a 99 Chevy Blazer here. 147,000 miles on the dash. Does say it has a bad rear end. So I'm sure like the uh, gearing and stuff in the back is pretty whooped. Um, gears for this truck, you may be able to find them. You can probably throw some 373s or 410s in there. That's race guy, race guy, car talk. If you know that, hey, comment below and let me know what kind of gears you had in one of your cars. But anywho, moving along, moving along. I mean, it does look fairly intact. It says it does run and the AC is cold, just has a bad rear end. So I don't know how bad the rear end is. I guess we'll just have to wait until the auction to find that out. But if we take a look at the inside, you got this cloth, tan, beiges, like interior. If we look at the back, I mean, it looks intact. It's pretty clean in here, guys. Um, but me, I'm not really a blazer guy. I'm not really a blazer guy, unless it's a trailblazer and it's an SS. But I've seen a couple of these things like raced out before and they, they freaking fly. I can't even front, but they did a lot to get these cars like in that type of like, you know, race environment and race style. So, I mean, it's going to take some work. But if you're down to like put some work into it, that thing is going to go for like maybe what? 300 bucks today. I don't know. We'll see in the auction. Let me know what you think it'll go for in the comments below. We got a 94 Toyota Camry here, 144,000 miles on the dash. It does hold a rebuilt title. Uh, you're going to need, first off, you're going to need a wheel for this wheel in the front. It is on a donut. Uh, you got a little wave effect in the fender here. Nothing crazy at all. Judging by the year, it is the coupe. You don't really see too many coupe Camrys. Uh, if we take a look in the inside, does have that light tan freaking interior. Definitely not leather. And it's freaking hot as heck in this car. So this sun is like attracted to this car. So much heat inside that car, guys. I don't want to spend all day on it. And I know most of you guys don't even like these old Camrys anyway. So we're just going to keep it moving pretty fast here. And that wheel may be in the trunk. However, uh, these are hubcap wheels. So, I mean, you can pretty much throw any wheel that'll fit on there and go get a new set of hubcaps and you'll be right in the game. You're missing a little turning blinker there, which is not a bad thing at all. Be a, should be a pretty simple fix. I don't know what you guys think about it. Next up, guys, we got a 2000 Toyota Avalon here, 132,000 miles on the dash. Uh, from a first glance, it does look, I guess, pretty cool. However, if you're looking at this side, you do have a little wham bam boozle, huge tequila kick in the door over here. Um, this is definitely like a point A to point B car. This is not something that you would want to hang on to and just treat it like your pride and joy. You got a tequila kick there. Bumper is kind of hanging off a little bit. Nothing crazy. As I've said, this is a point A to point B car. So if you just need a car to get to work and uh, make enough money so you can buy a brand new car or something even better than this, this is what you want to do. This is what you want to start with. The back seats look excellent, though. Nothing crazy at all. This one does have the sunroof. So this one might be the top of the line uh, Toyota here. But if we look up here at the dash and the interface does look pretty good and intact. I don't see anything that really stands out. Steering wheel is pretty whooped, to say the least. Um, other than those few body blemishes, I mean, the car does look pretty fair. Um, at nighttime, you wouldn't even notice it. So, I mean, I guess that's a plus. If you guys are into the, uh, if you guys are into the Toyota Avalon, man, let me know what you think about it. We've got a 96 Honda Civic here, 185,000 miles, and it is a manual transmission. So you guys already know this thing is going to sell for super cheap. The uh, hood and the bumper up here doesn't match. This is like a cream color, more so white down here. 
headlights are super whooped. You're gonna need to sand those down and buff them out again. We got a little uh, tequila kickage here, which isn't still a bad idea. I mean, you can actually go to the junkyard and find most of these parts. But then again, this is like super, super old. So you really don't want to put too much money into it. Um, just because, I mean, it's only worth so much, guy. But if we take a look in the inside, you do have this light gray cloth interior. The interior does look pretty fair. The back seats look pretty good. Passenger seat looks A1 as well. Like I said, it is a stick shift, guys. And this is not up, so it's kind of rolling back as I'm leaning in, trying to check it out with you guys. Got some decent rims on it. All the rims match some from what I see so far. Um, got a little different color silver piece there. Not a big deal. You definitely got uh, some exhaust on there. So it's probably like a little rice rocket or something. Um, oh yeah, you're definitely gonna have to find this wheel. So who knows, it may be in the trunk. We don't know. If it is, that'll be a plus for whoever buys the car. I know I won't just not a manual trans type of guy but hey maybe for you we got a 2009 hyundai sonata here 130,000 miles guys now this auction they actually invest in some of the parts so like say you see this bumper here is black so me that's telling me that uh this car was wrecked when it first came in and they just bought the uh bumper to i guess get a little bit more cash out of it but this fender is super whipped too so that might be that tells me that it might have already been like this even uh, before it came in. But you're definitely going to need a new set of hubcaps. You're going to need a fender on that side. You're going to need the bumper color matched. It does have 130,000 miles. You're going to need a little new mirror right there. However, the mirror is still in there, so you might be able to pass on that. If you take a look at the inside, you do have this light gray uh, interior. I mean, it is dirty, so it probably looked like a dark gray. But the back seats are great. The passenger seat looks great. And if you look at the interface and the dash up there, it looks fair as well. Just could use some TLC. And it was a smoker. Definitely smell like a casino in that joint. But if we walk around this way, the back of the car looks pretty fair. Got a little whammage here, a little door gappage. Nothing crazy. But you got to get a mirror here. Fender. Hubcap and color match. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Next up guys, we got a 2006 Volkswagen Jetta here, 132,000 miles guys. This one actually says it has a bad transmission. So who knows how bad the transmission really is, but we can check it out. Um, Body wise looks pretty good guys. I don't see anything that stands out. You got a little wave effect in the quarter panel there. Still not a deal breaker. Um, if we take a look in the inside, you do have this nice black leather interior. The seats are in pretty decent shape. The back seats look really great. Passenger, everything looked great in this car. Um, dash and the interface, everything seems cool and in order. Only 132,000 miles on the dash. It does have the sunroof as well. Um, We can swing around this way. I remember I bought one of these. Mine's was all silver, but mine's was like clean, like the cleanest one I ever seen. Had to get it. But a uh, bad transmission on this. I don't know how, how much it costs to fix a Volkswagen transmission or how much they would even be. And you can throw it in yourself. Who really knows? If you know, let me know in the comments below if you had any experience with these transmissions before. So we got a 2001 Saturn L series here, 168,000 miles. Now this one actually might've been here a couple auctions ago. But uh, we'll just keep showing you guys because I'm a nice guy. But first glance, I mean, it looks really great. You got a little, little whammage there in the bumper. Nothing crazy at all, though. You couldn't even notice that. 168,000 miles on the dash, guys. The body is fully intact. If you take a look at the inside, you do have this light gray cloth-like interior. And the interior is flawless in here, guys. Most of the Saturns I've been seeing are like really, really clean in the inside. I guess because only like older people buy these cars. But I mean, it does look really good in here. 168,000 miles. It does have the sunroof, so it might be the top of the line version there. Um, Seems pretty legit. I don't see anything that really stands out to me. But this thing, I'm sure it'll go for like, what, 500 bucks, 550? 
what you guys think about it let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 03 ford focus here 185,000 miles on the dash if we from a first glance i mean it does look pretty decent but you do got a little bit of flaws here and there uh bumper it's kind of whooped a little bit headlights could be restored um and then if we take a look at this side you're going to need a mirror here if you look up and down the side got a little tequila kick on the side there nothing crazy at all guys um, I mean, it's pretty fair looking to say the least. If we pop this door open and check out the inside of the car. We do got this gray um, leather interior. I mean, the seat is ripped. Definitely can use a detail in here. I don't know why they put these cheap little freaking leather wannabe seats in here, but this thing is freaking filthy. I don't know if it runs. Um, what is it? Yeah, it says it has code AC, so I'm sure one, it runs, but that thing is going to need a full-on detail. What do you guys think about the uh, the Ford Focus, man? Let me know in the comments below. And you do got a tequila kick there as well, so let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Another PT Cruiser here, guys. We got a 2008 PT Cruiser. The mileage is unknown, and it does say it doesn't have no spark, so I'm sure this thing doesn't run. So if you guys were tuned into my last video, you guys already know that PT Cruisers are going to go out sometime. And this is just a prime example. So if we just take a quick walk around this joint. Dang, you got a huge tequila kick on this side. You need to, you're going to need a bumper, fender. And this door is just messing up this fender even more. So you may even need a door for that. But me personally, I know you guys aren't into the PT Cruisers. So I'm just going to show you really quick. It does have that gray cloth interior. Interior is super, super whooped. Not super whooped, but like dirty, like super, super dirty. I wouldn't even get this thing. Like even if it was running for super cheap, super tequila kick there. But yeah, guys, we're just going to keep it moving. I know you guys don't like this, so it is what it is. We got a 2003 Chevy Tracker here, 206,000 miles on the dash. Now this thing belongs at the junkyard, does have low compression, so I'm sure it doesn't start. You're gonna need a whole front mook. It looked like they wrecked up here, messed up the rebar and everything. I can't even believe this is a Chevy. Chevy doesn't, I don't think Chevy even makes these type of little cars anymore. Like I never even knew this was a Chevy. That's crazy. They got duct tape, all type of stuff. This thing is like whipped all around. This window is broken as well. We take a look at the inside. I mean, it does have the Chevy emblem, but doesn't have that Chevy appeal. And like I said before, you guys, if you guys see that, most of the time the cars don't run because not too many people are just gonna leave their car and then get that sticker and just continue to leave it there if it's not broken. So it is what it is keeping it moving here keeping it moving we got a 1997 mercury villager here that's a different name for a minivan a villager so i guess you can haul a bunch of kids in here like a little village anywho from a first glance i guess it does look pretty intact for the most part you're missing some centers on the wheel there nothing too crazy i mean with this car if you buy this you probably don't care about how the car looks anyway you probably just need a car to get around this door is locked so we can't check that out right there does have the little tow hitch on the back there nothing crazy at all i mean it's a it's a minivan guys like who really buys minivans i know i don't I bought one and that was like the first and last one I bought. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a it's not a good selling car. It's just not my cup of tea. So I'm just gonna keep it moving. I know you guys don't really care about it. And we got a freaking 2008 Ford Focus here, 209,000 miles on the dash here. From a first glance, it looks really good. It says it has code AC, so that's a plus as well. Um, 200,000 miles, guys. It might be at its, it might be at its, uh, it's in point it does have the manual uh the manual windows this car freaking stinks dog stinks so i'm just gonna hold my breath and show you guys really quick what it looks like nothing in the inside is out of out of the ordinary <coughs> oh that car stinks 
<sighs> oh man, you guys are lucky. You guys are lucky. I'm doing all the hard work here. You guys don't have to smell these stinky cars. But I mean, the body and everything is intact. 200,000 miles. You may have something on your hands. You may not. Me personally, I pass. But if you do get it, let me know how it runs for you, man. <laughs> Good luck. We got a 1997 Toyota Corolla here. 216,000 miles on the dash. The paint and everything on this thing looks fabulous for the year and the mileage. They might've even repainted this thing over. But man, it does have code AC, so that's a plus two. Does have hubcaps on it. However, they are mismatched. We take a look in the inside. It's freaking burning up in this joint. You got this tan cloth interior. Does freaking stink in here. I don't know what it smells like, but I'm gonna hold my breath and show you really quick. I hope you guys got a good pick. Got a good view of it because I ain't going back in there. But for the most part, it does seem to be all intact you got a little tequila kick there in the back as well there i mean maybe a good point a to point b car but man i'm gonna pass what would you do would you pass next up guys we got a 2006 mercedes s500 here v8 149,000 miles um, it does have code AC, so that tells me, I mean, I guess it runs pretty good. You can just see, though, look at that headlight compared to this headlight. So you're going to need to sand that thing down, buff it out, and, uh, and everything. But, I mean, it does look like a pretty good Mercedes all around. Got a little bit of paint fading here and there. You do have the sunroof. It is the S500. So you guys know the S-Class is like the big boy uh version of the mercedes i mean it does look really good in here i can't complain about that seats and everything look pretty intact you got a nice interface up here got a little tv or whatever you want to call it i mean the leather and everything is pretty intact guy so that's a plus too got these huge back doors with like a bunch of space back here which is cool i mean it is the s500 so that may be more reliable than the S600 for sure. But this is probably one of the cleaner uh, bins as we've seen. Most of them is like super lowered down. Air shocks is like whooped. But this one actually seems like it's really good. Um, who knows what it's going to sell for. Maybe it'll sell for high today just because a lot of people like these benzes, give or take. What do you think? I'm thinking about what? $3,200? Between $2,800 and $3,200 this thing is going to sell for. And uh, I think this MSRP on this was like 100,000 when it first came out. I don't know. If you know about it, let me know in the comments below. Got a 07 Honda Element here, 172,000 miles on the dash here. From a first glance, it does look pretty good. I don't see any uh, body damage to say the least. Does seem pretty fair. If we take a walk around this side, uh, I mean, it's pretty intact to say the least got these nice little i guess light guards i never really seen those on uh, one of these before it is a four-wheel drive which is a plus two um if we take a look at the inside of this car you do got this nice i guess gray blackish cloth like interior it is pretty roomy in here wow you guys see that that sunroof in the back i never even knew they had that on these cars so that's a plus it's a lot of room in the back would be a pretty good uh, like Uber car if like you were into Ubering or lifting or whatever the case may be. It's very, very spacious to say the least. Let's check out the back here. I don't even know how these doors open. Oh, okay, open suicide. Oh, that's cool. So these doors open suicide like hop in. You got a bunch of room back here. Got your sunroof, that's, that's pretty dope never even opened one of these car doors before i thought these was like i mean i knew it was like four door but i didn't know it was like that so that's a plus two can actually peek under the hood really quick and see what it's looking like but it does look pretty good it does have that cold air intake so whoever had this car i guess they liked it which is always a plus you know it's uh running pretty good for the most part what you guys think about it man let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 2004 chevy trailblazer here 177,000 miles on the dash it is a four x four um it's not the ss of course but man 
I mean, it does look pretty fair. We seen one last night that thing sold for what, like 800 bucks or so. So I'm pretty sure this one's gonna sell for around the same price. I don't see any body damage on it just yet. Um, the mileage seems pretty fair for the year. If you take a look at the inside, you do have that tan cloth-like interior, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a really clean, this is probably the cleanest trailblazer I've ever seen here at the auction, that's for sure. The interface and the dash, everything looks intact. So this may be a good, a good running car. We can just take a look around. No dents or anything in the car. You guys know I'm going. I'm going to point out everything. But it does look pretty fair. I mean, the paint may be faded a little bit. But if you're getting this car, you're not really caring about paint. You're just trying to get from point A to point B. What you guys think about the Trailblazer, man? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we got a 97 Ford Explorer here, 160,000 miles, guys. It, it it does have it does hold a salvage title. It does have that like pearlish white color V8 limited edition. I don't think it's the Eddie Bauer edition, but if we take a look in the inside, you do got that tan leather slash beige interior. Back seats look pretty fair. You got some room back there. That seat looks pretty intact. I mean, the whole car seems intact for the most part. Don't know why it's savage, but I guess we'll check it out around back and see if we can tell why. Um, can't really see why just yet. Me personally, I don't really like these year explorers. Um, we did see a couple of clean ones at another auction. And you'll probably get that video like within the next couple of days to see which one I'm actually talking about. But if you like the Explorers, man, let me know what you think about this one. Alrighty, guys, we got a 2005 Ford 500 here, 168,000 miles on the dash. This one has been here for like three or four auctions now. I don't know why people aren't picking their cars up, but it is what it is. The very first auction, this thing sold for like 300 and I should have grabbed it. But I just did it. I already know the inside is freaking clean as heck. This was the worst part in the car. You can easily find a fender for this. Get that bumper to line up and uh, get this part fixed right there. So the door isn't hitting anymore. But if we swing around this way, it is a it is the same exact thing on this side as well. You need a fender and uh, maybe maybe a door you may not need a door. But who really knows? The AC does blow cold. It says check rack and pinion. So something may be up with the suspension. Uh, if we take a look at the inside, it does have that tan leather interior. And like I said, you guys I already know this car was clean as heck on the inside. If you guys followed a couple videos back, the four to 500 we seen at another auction, this was actually the one I was comparing it to because that other one was looking like super whooped. And this one actually looks for the most part great. I mean, just great because I already know it's like an easy, simple fix. However, just because it was crashed in the front, I think that kind of messed up uh, some of the sp suspension or something to say the least. But I don't know if you guys are a fan of the Ford 500s, man, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. We got a 2000 Chevy Tahoe here, 172,000 miles on the clock. It is a four by four here, guys. Uh, me personally, I like the newer body styles a lot more. But seeing as we got a couple of these at this auction, actually this one was repainted. Like you got a bunch of, I don't know if you can see, you got a bunch of orange peel on the side here. So this one was definitely repainted. Um, the interior actually looks pretty fair. They got some really clean seats here. The back seats are whooped. So these two front seats are like, they just put these in along with this middle center console here. That's for sure, for sure. The radio is gone. 170 something thousand miles guys the back seats are the original seats you can definitely tell that for sure does have the third row back there that's a plus and it is four by four so you may be able to uh off-road this thing if you will has some aftermarket tail lights there does have the little tow hitch in the back um i don't know they painted the heck out of this they should have like wet sanded and like buffed it like one more time just got a lot of orange peel a lot of orange peel i don't know if you guys are a fan of the tahoe man let me know in the comments below next up we got a 94 gmc yukon 328,000 miles on the dash it does say it has a blown head gasket it is four by four and the linkage is out whatever that means if you guys know what linkage out means let me know 
but this is the two door two door tahoe so back in the day these things were like freaking great but now they're just showing up most of them are like super beat this one actually looks like they might have been painted by the same person that painted that truck right there because it does look repainted and it does have a bunch of orange peel as well we take a look in the inside the original door panels is on however these seats are definitely uh something that the owner the previous owner threw in themselves i mean but then again it does look pretty good in here guys i wouldn't complain it's a really good looking truck if this is what you're looking for something you're looking for this is probably a good good place to start Good place to start. I mean, it does have a fresh black on it. You can freaking lift it up, throw some nice like off-road style wheels on it and have this truck looking really nice. I mean, it's got 328 on the dash. However, it's way over 10 years old. So you can swap that dash out and nobody would even know the difference if you got it clean enough. What you think, would you guys think about the, uh, the two-door Tahoe? However, it does have no key and a bonehead gasket. So you're gonna have to throw a motor in this thing as soon as you get it and the motor is like in pieces to say the least yeah i definitely just ls swap it as soon as i get it throw a low fly three in it at least all righty guys we got a 2001 chevy suburban here 312,000 miles on the dash um first glance looks pretty whoop man you got a little dent right there in the bumper nothing crazy at all 312,000 miles i'm sure the inside is what man you can take a look at it. it does have that cloth gray leather you can look at the back seats no third row it is the xl well the suburban you guys already know the suburbans are pretty uh pretty much bigger than the tahoes and the yukons just an extended version but you're missing like some dash pieces up here and like some dash pieces around the radio so i mean you're gonna need a little a little bit of work here and there this is the super super long version so i mean it is a little bit more valuable than the black one we seen earlier um i don't know what you guys think about it me personally i'm not a big fan of these anymore i used to be looking for one of these but not anymore i really rather have the newer newer body style for sure at a 2013 Chrysler 200 here. This one is the star of the show, guys. Only at 16,000 miles. They didn't even touch this thing. This is a freaking uh, a 2013. A 2013 with 16,000 miles. So either they wrecked it and then drive it, which I'm thinking they did because if you guys see here, it does have like fresh like orange pill on the front. So this one was probably sitting at a body shop or something for the longest. And they just like sold it to a sold it to the auction who really knows what happened and why this car has such little mileage but man if we take a look at the inside the seats and everything is flawless you can look at the back it looks really great it does have those led lights up top if we swing the camera around the steering wheel dash and interface looks great Sixteen thousand miles guys you got a lot of room to grow and this whole car was like definitely yeah this whole car was definitely repainted you can see a enormous amount of orange peel on the car so i don't know i don't know i mean it's a great looking car don't get me wrong it's really clean but man who really knows what happened to this car you're gonna have to do it like a little uh vehicle check or something to see what was really up but what you guys think about it man we can pop this hood and see uh yeah i mean the hood under the hood i mean it looks all together and yeah you can definitely tell this thing was painted you guys can look at the side and see how they bust most of it out and everything so yeah this thing was definitely repainted over i don't know where it was hit at but hey your guess is as good as mine all righty we got a 98 dodge dakota here 181,000 miles on the dash man i mean the paint on this thing is freaking faded whooped car looks dry to say the least gonna need some new tires on it tires are super bald gonna need some centers for the wheel definitely got some tequila kick on the side here this is the dakota sport if that matters at all i don't know what the sport version is of this but if we take a look at the inside you do have these cloth light gray seats it's pretty dirty in here guy no back seat but it does have a little room back there i mean nothing crazy going on inside 
definitely could use some TLC. If you're just looking for a car to get you around and maybe throw some stuff in the back, this will be definitely the car to start with. You do got a spare in the back. That's a plus two. It comes with a four-way and a jack. Um, Gonna need four new tires all around the car. Me personally, this car looks too, uh, a little bit too old and paint looks a little too worn for me. Lincoln Navigator, guys. We actually have a 03 Lincoln Navigator, 182,000 miles on the dash. The AC is cold, so that tells me it might be a pretty decent running car. You got some pretty beefed up tires on this joint. If we take a look in the inside, you do have this nice, I guess, black leather interior. Seats are a little bit ripped. Got some rips here and there, guy. Back seat, third row, got the little TV right here for the kids. The dash and media center up here looks pretty fair to say the least. I mean, for the year, it does look pretty cool. However, I just know with these navigators, when these uh, when this suspension system goes out, this thing is riding like a cholo. Super low and everything, but hey, it is what it is. And it is what it is. What you think about the navigator, man? Let me know in the comments below. Now, this is the type of truck I'm talking about, guys. We got a 2002 Ford F350 here, 218,000 miles on the dash. Does look really good. I like the lifted look on this. Got some tequila kickage here in the front, so maybe they was off road and freaking smacked it like a, a um one of those Polaris's or something. Who really knows what happened? But we can check this thing out. It is the V10. Lift it up. Got some nice wheels. Nice beefed up tires. Got a nice little suspension lift right there, which is cool. This will be perfect right here. I'll hop right in this joint. Let's see if we can uh, open this door. So it doesn't open from the outside, but if you take a look at the inside, guys, got this tan interior. Back seats look great. Front seats and everything look pretty fair. It's a good looking truck. Uh, looks even better on the outside, guys. I love the lifted look. And it is the 4x4, which is a plus. Got a tequila kick here in the back. And you got this little uh, bed thing that covers the, the pickup of the truck, which is always a plus, too. So that's cool to have. We can swing back around this side. Can swing back around this side. I'm sure this thing is going to go for like what four grand or so, maybe even like five if it's running good. Good looking truck, man. What you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. This is also something that was here recently, guys. We have a uh, 2013 Kia Soul here, 95,000 miles on the clock. Does have code AC, of course. I mean, it is a pretty new car with pretty low miles. The only thing I can really see that stands out got this bumper hanging which shouldn't be hard to fix at all. Um, the body looks great. We can check out the inside of it really quick. It only has 95,000 miles on it. When you open it, it does have that black cloth interior. The seats look pretty fair to say the least. Could use a really good detail. It does stink in here. It does smell like a pit bull or something. But the steering wheel, dash, everything up here looks to be intact and in order. So that's a plus there. We take a look around the back nothing that stands out looks like a great car you can pop this on Turo right now and make some money what you guys think about this one a little dent there and then crazy let me know in the comments below so all righty guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video man if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please do so if you are subscribed to the channel don't hesitate to share that video and give me on your community post man i greatly appreciate it as always guys man be easy and i'll catch you on the next one peace